Oh, hello there. So in the last episode, we finally managed to take down a dragon. It took all day to get this angry boy's health down, but now he's doing his best impression of Black Widow. The next goal that we are setting our sights on is a dragon egg. Now this is going to be quite difficult. You see, the female species do not live like you or I. Instead, they live deep within the bowels of the earth where they can write Jonas Brothers fan fiction. Lucky for us, there are two easy ways to spot a female dragon nest. Firstly, there will almost always be a simp nearby. And second, the lair will be covered by a thick layer of ash and gold. The uh, gold likely donated by this thirsty fellow here. Say my name, please. Though it's not certain, our hope is that the dragon that we killed at the end of the last episode was protecting a female lair. Here's hoping. Let's have a look around here. There's plenty of ash around, but that's most likely due to the damage from actually fighting the dragon. Hmm. There's a bunch of ash here that's a little bit away from the village. And there's also a cave leading underground. This is a good sign. I'm gonna dig right here. The custom tool I made should come in clutch here. Oh yeah, this is gonna save us a lot of time. Now we're gonna need some sort of spiral staircase downwards. Lest I break my ankles, or otherwise harm my precious, precious pride. Hmm, <laughs> you know, something just occurred to me. If I just dig my way straight down to the lair, she'll probably just kill Seymour immediately. I am going to need an escape route. Ah, dirt. Okay, we must be near the top now. We've been digging for quite a while. Ah, yes, I can hear Clarence's affectionate screech from outside. Ah, oh, sunlight. I never thought I'd be happy to see you. And Clarence is there too, I guess. Yeah, we have reached the surface. Back into the blinding light of the sun. Get out of here. Come on. Damn it, I really wish I'd made a diamond shovel at this point. Yeah. Okay, so here's the plan. We'll dig down, give the dragon a wee tickle, leap on Clarence and get the frick out of Dodge. Well, that's the plan anyway. Oh, day's ending. Luckily, I brought a bed this time. There we go. Uh, really? Come on. Let me go to bed. Please! This is taking too long. You die! Ah, there we go. Well, it's day 102. Today I'm thinking, how about we do some digging? Yeah, and then and then we could and then we could dig more and more and then just put some torches up and then keep digging. You know, that'd be fun. Oh how I love to dig. <gasps> Light! That's a change of pace. <laughs> Honestly, there's a welcome change up in here for ages, but no no change at all. Oh, there's a little one of those goblin guys over there. I'm gonna block this off. <laughs> <laughs> he flew into the lava. Uh, outplayed. It's like snoring in the background. I'm hoping that's the dragon. Are there any mobs down here? Oh, yep. It's another anti-vax child. Burn! Yes. Essential oils can't save you now. This tunnel is a bit of an issue. We need to block this off. Lest we get attacked by more anti-vax children. Or any other surprises that uh, our oilcraft's gonna throw at me, I guess. Well, let's hope this tunnel's wide enough. Summon Clarence. Here is my boy. Alright. The brain damage I'm receiving while going upwards indicates I need to widen this tunnel more. It's time to go to bed. Let me off, Clarence. I must sleep, damn you! Let me off! Yep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Good morning. We have a Viridian green bug in my home. Yes, in my home. Just the side of a mountain. <laughs> Stupid bug. Well, we've just about finished the top of our hole, I think. Only thing to do now is go back to the bottom and find that female. Descend, Clarence. Downwards. Come on. Yeah, a couple of snags here and there, but hey, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Except you, Clarence. I'm sorry. In fact, how about we make Clarence a little landing, just in case it takes us a few more days. It's down here. Yeah, there we go. Nice. At the start of day 104, we widened the tunnel a little more, and then took it for a test run. No. Ah, beautiful. Kind of satisfying, really. I also destroyed the stairs, as I won't be needing those when we uh, wake the dragon up. Wait a minute. This hole wasn't here before. Did I dig that? Yeah, I remember. Got the memory of a goldfish. I think this must be where the dragon is. All these, uh, yeah, charred stone. It's kind of a weird block. It must be close. I can't see much. In fact, I don't, I don't even have any torches. Can't see anything. It would be nice to have some torches. I think I'm gonna have to go home and get some. If this were regular Minecraft, I could just make some here, but we need glowstone for torches in our aircraft. Elevation! Ah, home sweet home. Oh yeah, I put the dragon skull in the house. Forgot to mention that. First we make the chicken nugget, and then we make the torch. Here we go. Alrighty, back we go. 
Okay, let's check out this cave. I'm a little scared. Oh, okay. I did not mean to fall in, but alrighty then. Let's try that again. Bloop. Hello? Oh, there's a creeper. Not anymore. Place these blocks. Make some stairs. Here we go. Mm, Kevin seems to go that way as well. I'm gonna block this off. I do not want to die. I'm pretty sure this looks like the right way anyway. <laughs> I guess I could be wrong. Put these valuable torches down. Alrighty. Ah! Oh, yeah! Oh, Jesus! Clarence, what did you do? What is going on? Dragon's gonna be around here somewhere. The hard part is finding out exactly where. I can hear the snoring. I think we just have to pick a spot and then keep going. Oh, oh, that is a Kevin. Hello? Hello? There it is. Ooh. All right, she's a, she's a big one. Okay, um, we're gonna need to be uh, extra careful here. We're gonna need extreme precision. Lest, uh, you know, with the burning and all that. Okay, Clarence, be a good lad and sit here. I will hopefully be right back. Okay, now where is she? There she is. Blip. Okay, oh god, oh jeez. Please protect me, Jesus. Upwards now, Clarence, let's make it snappy. Alrighty, same strategy as last time. I'm gonna be very careful here. Well, that was fun. Let's go see if this girl had any eggs on her. Do not worry, dear viewer, we will not eat the egg. Not unless we find a second one. Okay, let's have a look. We're just gonna loot all of the bits and giblets. Yes, 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 there it is. Fire dragon egg. Yes. Very good. Okay, let's go home and hatch this little guy. Flappy man away. Wait, where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> Onwards, Clarence! Once again, Seymour Butts returns home, moist and victorious. Let's make some new armor to celebrate our victory. We'll make some trousers, and boots, and a helmet. Here we go. Ladies, please form a line, and uh, no pushing, please. Okay, I'm gonna use that skull as a decoration. Oh, <laughs> that is a lot larger than I thought it was. Okay, that's... yeah, that's kind of terrible. Never mind. I'll put it somewhere else. When it finally stops raining, we can go and hatch this egg. For you see, dragons are infernal beings and are birthed by fire, much like regular females. So the way that we hatch this egg is we're gonna land down here, and then we're gonna place a block of netherrack, grab our egg, there we go, and then place that on there. And then we just set it on frickin' fire. <laughs> well, if a dragon doesn't pop out, we can at least make an omelette. Oh my god. 
She's adorable. <laughs> ah, God damn it! You're not allowed to be that cute. I'm a man, damn it. Now can I pick her up? Yes. Ah, oh, yes. That's so cool. I I've never been this happy. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah. Okay, remember guys, being cute is a defense mechanism. She is trying to manipulate us here. We must be strong and remember this important fact. Oh, give me strength. The fact that she is and always will be a dirty little orphan. <laughs> and therefore it is in her best interest she grows up with a sense of responsibility. So we're going to be using her for free labor. We are going to be building a dragon forge. It looks like this. But before we build the forge, we're gonna need a place for her to grow up. Oh, there she is. And uh, a place for her to practice her sick dance moves, apparently. Now, in terms of a name, I'm thinking Melinda. Simply because we, we have so many lads around here, we need some more ladettes to even it out. Use the name tag. There we go. Now, in order to make this girl grow, we need to give her dragon meal. But I think it would be best if she didn't grow until we finish her prison. We can also store her in this dragon horn I made. Here we go. Kind of like a, like a little orphan genie. So, right now, we're thinking about what kind of orphanage we're gonna put this little bowl of burden in. Yes, she is. <laughs> Climbing on all my things. I'm gonna put you away, little girl. I'm thinking, since we're currently living in a magical floating house, we could build one of those, uh, those Central American temples. I think they are cool. And, little known fact, the Aztecs actually invented tomato ketchup. Get in the orphan bottle, girl. There we go. <laughs> Blip. Okay, keep her in the, in the little orphan bottle here until we're done with the orphanage because that way we don't have to feed her. Right, her off to a nice warm night of sleep and then we'll get started on the orphanage. Oh, <laughs> looks like we're gonna get griefed first, never mind. Ah, burns. Flip. <laughs> Ooh, that's toasty. Sit, noob. <laughs> Alrighty then, come here Clarence, my boy. Let's go. Okay, now we just need to figure out how to get started here. I think, I think we start from the top. Full disclosure, I lost some footage of me building, so here's a clip of Melinda trying to make a break for it. But don't worry, I found her. You know, it just occurred to me that we're gonna need to extend the top a little bit so that we can get those beautiful stairs running up the side. And that way we also won't have to tear down every brick from the back of the house just to be able to fit everything up here. Thumb. I really need a diamond pickaxe. This is painful. It hurts. Uh, it's so slow. Hmm, looking pretty good so far though. I mean, it's just a bit of a hollowed skeleton right now, but it'll look pretty good in the end, I think. We got ourselves a visitor. Good day, sir. I think Technoblade might have heard about my orphan farm. Oh, and a redditor. Hello. Be gone, peasant. Back to the lower class you go. I spent the rest of day 109 clearing ground for our orphanage. Oh yeah, and at the end of the day, I was so sick of cutting trees, I just decided to burn them. No tree will stand in the way of progress. So, story time. This is the remainder of that huge tree I used to farm mobs under. There was a dragon nearby that I took down. I didn't manage to fit the clip into the last episode, but I'll show it to you now for a little context as to what happened. Alrighty, this dragon is getting way too close to my base, so I'm gonna have to take him down. Oh, there he is. Okay, we're eating dragon tonight, boys. Let's go. There he is. All right. I then went back to the base, got Clarence, flew back and killed him, but unfortunately at the cost of the environment. <laughs> well, it's confirmed, boys. Dragons are even worse than fossil fuels. Give me a Clarence. I'm trying to get on you. There we go. <laughs> Oh, God damn it! It must be school holidays at the moment. Die, children. You damn kids! Get off my property! I'm trying to do some gardening. So I pretty much spent the entire rest of the day just doing landscaping, and the next day we got back to working on them walls. Later that evening, I decided to cleanse the world of some more Redditors, because I was almost level 30. Oh, do good! There we go. Ooh, and there's... Oh, Clarence is getting eaten by Kraken. Hey, leave him alone, you overgrown blue bottle. Huh? Oh, rude. That's kind of cringe. What is that? Like a little bug. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I've got the shooting skills of a games journalist. So we're gonna have to go around. Where the hell did he go? Well, that was weird. Okay, well, just kill this guy instead. <laughs> and I spent the rest of that evening grinding out mobs to hit that level 30. Blip. Alrighty. I think that should be enough XP. Yes, there we go. Cool. Let's head home. Go to bed. Oh, look, the sun. 
Disgusting. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to bed. Let's just enchant this armor. Wait, that's not... No, not the axe. We got... What the balls? Hello? <sighs> what? Oh, damn it. I... I don't have any books or paper. Ah, uh, well that's annoying. Thanks, RL Craft. I guess we're gonna need leather. Sorry, boys. Peter, look away now. And next we are gonna need sugar cane for that paper. Let's have a look around here. Ah, there she blows! Get me off. There we go. Should be enough for starters. Nope. <laughs> Waterboarded myself. Yeah, that'll do for now. I'll fix it later. Never do today what you can put off till tomorrow. Place the blocks. The next day I made myself some torches and then we're headed down to the mine to gather some more stone. I really need to find some of those, uh, the rock golems from earlier because I believe it's either them or the wraiths. They drop this uh, tool head that will, instead of giving a cross like that, it'll give a square, which will be much easier for getting these stupid little blocks from the sides. Hold on to these for me, Wolfie. There's a good boy. Oh, that is a cavern. I'm gonna block that off. In my opinion, bravery is left best to people with more courage. Ah! Ah! Again! Ah! Yeah, case in point, that scream didn't exactly scream manliness. You know, it just occurred to me, I kind of feel bad for Wolfie. I really feel like he's taken a back seat in the anime since Clarence showed up and he's the new popular girl. Like he's becoming a bit of a background character. Alrighty, that should be enough stone for now. So let's head back to the surface. Suppose it might be nice to get some sunlight. Ooh, a fortune enchantment. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Oh yeah, let's build these books with everything we've got while we're here. You have a little bit. There we go. We can make one. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm still really confused as to what exactly happened during this clip. <laughs> like, there was no hole in the roof. If anybody has any ideas, just let me know. Because right now, as far as I know, I've angered some ancient god and he's just trying to smite me. I will not be smitten! Unless it's with some beautiful glass windows. Ooh, mmm, delicious. This morning we're going to address the problem that Lazy Sneeve made. I mean, I don't know why that guy couldn't have just sorted this to start with. God, I hate that guy. <laughs> Radio, that's a little better now. It's beautiful. So it's day 115. We're currently working the land to clear up some space for the base of our triangle. Then we did a little bit of pest control and got another enchanted shovel. Let's see, fortune two. Oh, that's really good. Just so long as I get some bonus enchants along with it. I guess I'll be talking about this in therapy. Nim, 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 nim. <gasps> oh my God, look. You died! So yeah, slight issue, uh, it is darker down here than North Korea at night. Also shout out to this boy, hitting up the forums. But yeah, we have a bit of a pest issue due to the lack of light down here. So we're gonna need to light this place up by the 4th of July. Even Wolfie's in-laws are showing up. But anyway, I made a new shovel and now I'm tearing through this dirt like it owes me money. Oh, so much faster. It's actually very satisfying. Bob the crack addict. But then I realized I was burning up more than a Brit under a full moon. So I'm hoping I have some armor left with cooling. Aha, I do. Good. But although Seymour was dressed in his summer best, I was still feeling a little bit well done round the sides. So I decided to take a dunk in a nearby pond to cool off. <laughs> You're right down there, Clarence. Man, kind of feels like I'm marinating Clarence while I'm waiting for the temperature to go down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, Clarence. Oh, yeah, I suppose that was going to be an issue. <laughs> through to my hobbit hole. What I think I'll do is I'll probably just flatten this wall off and then I'll keep everything else. Hopefully it'll still maintain the original design blueprints. Me. Oh damn it, I forgot I stored all this stone in Wolfie's pocket dimension. Goldfish point undid it again. The next four days I didn't do anything particularly interesting, but just followed those same themes of clearing land, gathering stone, and building. On day 121 we finally got to filling in the base. Hmm. You guys ever spend 11 hours building something and then think, hmm, I should have used sandstone. <laughs> uh, uh, it would have looked so much better. Oh, hey, look, my sugar cane's all grown. The second ingredient of books is murder. Your subscription to life has ended. You too, anorexia boy. Oh, I heard you can, you can breed these guys with the lapis. Oh, cool, there's another one. We can try it out. Oh, wait, no, he's the only one in this pond. Uh, hmm. I think I just broke up a family. Clarence, it's time for us to leave. We've inflicted enough emotional trauma for today. <laughs> but I decided I would quickly grab up as much sugary canes as I could and make some more books before going to bed. 
Today on day 123, we are going to take a break from building and go back to Florida to see if we can find a Wraith Skull. Reason being, I believe they give great buffs when they're combined into a weapon. And also I believe they help with mining, but I'm not certain on that. Oh wait, I just remembered I, I tend to get quite toasted when I'm in there, so I'm gonna make some fire and splash potions. That way I can hopefully bring Clarence with me. Splash! Onwards, Clarence! Yeah. Get me in! Come on! Yeah, I don't think that's working. Probably just giving Clarence brain damage. Whoa! Okay. Uh, I'll go by myself. Goodbye, Clarence, my boy. Mind the fine china. Hmm, I, I wonder if I can just summon Clarence in here. Let's have a look. Teleport. Nope. Apparently not. Okay, well, let's try find some rates. Let's go. Oh, true. I guess I could just stand on this and just wreck some nubs from over here. Aha! The devil cops. You'll never take me alive, coppers. Ugh. Man. Ah, these guys suck. Damn explodey skeleton. Okay, new strategy. This time we'll just let them commit Sudoku all they want and eventually they'll drop a skull. Just let me grab my stuff though. Ah, the ghost. Run. No, ah, it, ah, it hurts. Oh, and a butt crab. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Go away. Okay, well, all I have is a spider eye to defend myself, so I might leave. I think they're all gone. Let's go. <laughs> Save my precious sticks and spider eyes. Oh, here's the rest of my stuff. Grab, grab, grab. Okay, howdy. Oh no, I got rumbled again. I'm sorry, officers. It's just a butter knife. I didn't know I needed a license. Blimey. Well, that works. <laughs> grab this. No heads, though. That's a shame. Okay, well, heading back before they can uh, go all explodey on me again. Oh, hey, it's nighttime. That means it's bedtime. Flip. Right, let's give this another crack. Firstly, let's block off some of these holes. Grab some of this. Okay, there we go. This may be hell, but there's no reason for the topography to look bad. Uh oh. Why do I feel like this isn't going to end well? Let me out. Yep, yep. My god. This isn't going well. Okay, here we go. Grab this. No. Oh, please, no. Please, sir. I'll pay my taxes. I'm sorry. Okay, well, let's pretend that never happened. While I grab up my giblets here, Seymour's looking sharp again. Ready for war. So I was doing a little bit of research in the background to see if I could find anything that'll help. And I found this ring makes you immune to wither. Oh, turns out you need another star. And so dies that idea. Man, why is everything got to be so hard? Okay, I'm going to go exploring today. Uh, hey buddy, you don't look so good. Melvin, come on man, you died in season one. Stop trying to make a comeback. So I'm thinking of using glowstone to light up the base. But only problem is, is that it's actually really hard to come by. The dust drops from manlets, but there's just, there's just not enough. If anyone knows how to get this stuff in bulk, let me know. For now, I'm just gonna ransack my own house. <laughs> and take all the glowstone from inside. Gonna plug this hole. There we go. Can't hide from me, glowstones. Where are ya? Where are ya? Ah, come to papa. Later that night, I tried a couple of different recipes to see if I could make that wither ring, but sadly not. The only recipe that works does indeed need an end star. But I can at least try to get some glowstone from the nether. So I'm gonna make myself some more splash potions, and then tomorrow we can try again. <laughs> Alrighty, you fiery rapscallions. Where are you? Oh, really? There's a ghost. <laughs> hey! Maybe, maybe I am a pro gamer. Oh, there's some fiery boys. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> you fool! You fell for one of my classic blunders. Oh yeah, I also put some uh, obsidian up here to uh, try and make sure that those wraith guys won't be able to explode the portal. Hello, there's some spider parts over here. Nice. Oh, oh really? Huh. I think they just blew up my portal. Ah, ah. Oh, well that was lucky. Oh, they did destroy it. Oh, I'm in a different spot now. Oh boy. Grab my, my bootsies. Sword, chest plate, fire, burning, death, fantastic. Alrighty. This time I grabbed a fire resist potion. Well, what kind of horrors am I going to be subjected to today? Up we go. Dump, dump, dump. Ah, leave me alone, Satan. Please, Satan, please. I'll just drop this stuff and come back for the crossbow later. Oh, there he is. It's Kirby again. <laughs> Get him, Wolfie. I'll help. Whack. Rope a dope. Rope a dope. Here we go. I'm thinking my professional boxing career will take off soon. Just punch a demon to death. Can you do that, Logan Paul? Nope. Jeez. It's another fidget spinner frog. Ooh. This water was quite conveniently placed. I'm gonna leave for now. I think Clarence is gonna spawn soon. Oh, there he is. Get him, Clarence. Get him. Yes. Fidget spinner frog versus Clarence. The battle for the ages. <laughs> Come on, Clarence, you can do it. I believe in you. I got five bucks riding on you. I got ten bucks in the other guy. Damn it! I just lost five bucks. I mean, yay! Good job, Clarence. Woo! Oh, oh, well, this ain't good. <laughs> Run, Clarence. Save yourself. Burning. Machu Picchu. Well, I managed to save the house, but, uh, well, never mind the draft. 
<laughs> oh, no, we've still got a little bit of hot stuff up here. Clarence, please. Thank you. Crisis has been averted. I really need to get my crossbow back. Get away, hellfire. Hello? Ah, Kirby, no! Get away! Whack! Taste my vampiric scepter. Uh, there we go. Ooh, he was a big boy. Now where is that? Yes, there we go. Let's go, let's go. Hey there, Satan. How are we done? Uh, yeah. I'd love to stick around, but uh, I really don't want to. This pyramid's coming along nicely. Goodbye. Oh yeah, when we've got a pet bird flying around. Get down, sir! You do not have a permit. Anyway, so we've we've done most of the building. We just need to fill in these holes. There he goes. And then we will have an orphan temple, if you will. And then we can put little Melinda to work. Because that is what children are for. It is currently day 127. And the first thing we are going to do is vax up. Let's be honest, this health bar is pathetic. There we go. Oh, weird. I can't seem to use the rest of my heart shards. Oh, man, I've got five more. Why can't I use... Okay. Well, I wanted to go Super Saiyan, but uh, I guess we've got to settle for uh, one of those weird buff mice from Demon Slayer. Whatever. I'll just put these heart shards into the chest of forgotten items. Why is there a hole on the side of my house? Oh, yeah. The fire. Well, let's just cover that up. <laughs> we don't need people to remember my mistakes. Here we go. It's as if it never happened. Now, in terms of finishing our pyramid of Amazon Prime, we need to ascertain a good source of glowstone. A bunch of people in the comments said that I should get glowstone from battle towers. So I guess I will soon be going fishing. Though I've never done that before, so that probably won't go very well. Let's go, more bubble gum. Yes! Ooh, and more. Hello. No more selling feet pics for me. I am a rich man. Ah, uh, damn it. Turns out I have the IQ of a starfish with a head injury, and I've been mining with a level 1 lame pickaxe this whole time because I didn't realize you can level monster parts with magical orbs. I am a brainlet, apparently. Okay, to cover up the crime against humanity that is my IQ, we are going to make ourselves an equipment forge and a equipment infuser. There we go. And then all we have to do is put the crystal charge in here. No, damn it, not quite enough. Okay, well, I'll go grab some more charges, I guess. That is, after I murder some of these zombies. There's a whole bunch of mobs down here, but I'm gonna murder them all to death. Goodbye, doggo. So, my bad, I got distracted, now it's day 128. But now I remembered to grab some more crystals, so let's level up. Beep a doo, in there. Okay, yeah, 11 by 6 by 6. That's a definite upgrade. Bloop. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is gonna save us a lot of time. Ooh, that's a lot of spaghetti. Cover it up, cover it up. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Here we go. No toastiness today. Hey, has anyone else experienced this weird bug where their cobblestone storage device keeps barking at them? Woof, woof, woof. Uh-oh. That sounds good. Uh, oh, holy mother of mercy. Blocks. Blocks. Okay. I escape with my eyebrows intact. Ooh, and it happened again. You know, I'm beginning to see a pattern here. <laughs> this, this new pickaxe is dangerous. Maybe it's time to leave. Yeah, I think it's this way. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Furry Backpack. Jesse, we gotta cook. Oh, jeez, yeah, Mr. White, what are we cooking? Cobblestone. Cobblestone. Man, this stuff cooks up so fast now. It's very nice. So we are currently checking our very well-organized chests to see if we have any clink arms or geonatch arms. And since I do not have either, we may have to go to a desert biome to get some clinks. Oh, Loch Ness Monster's back. Hoi bear, who's this boy shooting arrows at me? Get out of here. Go back to Ireland. Oh, and a bird. Here he goes. Oh dear, this fellow seems to be on fire. I'll save you, buddy. You're welcome. Well, it's day 129, and today we are going to finish this temple, damn it. It can't be a skeleton for this long. Place the blocks. Blip, 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 blip. So I want to place some windows down, and this shovel having the smelting enchantment is just absolutely amazing. It saved me so much time, I was able to create a hyper-realistic portrait of Willem Dafoe. The only question is, which one is the original? <laughs> These windows are going to bring us in some of that beautiful natural light that my parents tell me so much about. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Commit a few more sand war crimes. Yeah, and then we finish off our windows. Alrighty, we just need to finish this top bit off and then uh, we can call this baby Dunzo. As you can see here, we've got our beautiful property for rent, complete with a uh, organic parasite friendly swimming pool. Excellent ventilation, and of course, a free vegan who comes with the property. Starting bid is uh, $18.50 and a bag of chips. In all seriousness, yeah. let me try that again. <laughs> in all seriousness, in all seriousness, I say with confidence, I think it turned out quite well. Feels good. Saying words is hard.
Okay, day 131. We are going to continue work on the inside of Orphan Eater so that we can let Melinda out of her cage. But before we can do that, we have... What on earth has happened to Seymour? I hate it. Those eyes are just awful. Get this buttery man off my screen. Oh, Seymour, thank God you're back. I never thought I'd be happy to see you. A wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. He's dead. We're currently just trying... Did that zombie just spit a fireball from his face hole? Uh, let's head to the water. Dip, dip, dip. Okay. This isn't my house. What? Oh yeah, I forgot while I was exploring I changed my spawn. Don't you worry. Wolfie McWolfface and I can parkour our way down. Hup. There we go. <laughs> there used to be a dragon in this village, but I think he's eaten everyone. Oh well. I have a question. What has eight legs and isn't alive? You have failed this exam. So it's currently day 132 and I have messed up very badly. Basically dying so far away from where I respawned, I managed to lose a few of my items. Die, green boy. Most of the stuff is quite easy to get back, but unfortunately not my crossbow. So now we need feathers again. And unfortunately in that department, Wolfie ate all the chickens. I'm just glad he doesn't hurt the milky boys. I'm now going to play the clip showing when I died. Play the clip, Jenkins. So basically every dragon I've bought so far, I've easily been able to give the old double dab. But unfortunately this time, things didn't go quite to plan, as you can see from young Clarence here. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Uh -oh. Oh, there we go, level 30 again. Gonna try replicate some good in chance, but it's up to chance. Let's have a look. Well, my standards were low, but luckily I do actually have a backup enchanted crossbow. It's decent, but doesn't have infinity. So we are going chicken hunting right after we punch the topography. Blip, blip, die. Die, die, you flowery ba- The reason we committed that hate crime was to make purple dye. A shiny rock, and with the powers of those two combined, we can make a waystone. We will put this in the pyramid, get rid of these spiders, and then we can just dump this bad boy in the middle here. Ah, oh, a name. Um, Sn Snervelton. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good name. Sure. Okay, let's try this out. I wonder if I can stay on Clarence. Onward, Clarence! Oh, well, screw you then, Clarence. You dick. Ooh, that ain't good. <laughs> Time to go. I'll, uh, I'll come back later. Good luck with that, lads. I really don't have a plan for the inside of the, uh, Sneeve Co. Orphan Prison. So we're pretty much just gonna make like KFC. And, uh, wing it. Oh yeah, we also need to deal with the Redditor infestation before Melinda arrives. Otherwise they'll dab on her pretty easily. Put a couple more torches around, I think. The mobs just seem to be spawning everywhere right now. Anyway, so we need some feathers, don't we? Let's go abduct a chicken. I was flying around here quite a while ago, and I think I saw some. Enemy spot. Congratulations, sir. You're being rescued. I say, old chap. Nice weather we're having. You're getting a little close there, chum. If you could take a couple of paces back. Oh, bloody hell, this is jolly rude. Oh yeah. Come on in, Perkins. In you come. There we go. Damn gate. As I was saying, welcome to the Sneeve Empire, Perkins. Oh damn it. There's a bunch of chickens left in my base. I guess I abducted that guy for no reason. Oh well. Come on, you feathery rats. God damn, you're bad at following. I brought you some friends, Perkins. No, oh, no. A child has escaped. Hopefully he'll... Yep, there we go. <laughs> Straight back to prison. It's two days just mining. Just... Mining. And day 137, I spent clearing around the inside of the pyramid, ready for Melinda. Okay, let's put this door down. Blip, blip. Okay. And now we need to build like a wee entryway thingy mabob while being smothered by my animals, apparently. I guess we'll go with pressure plates on the outside and, uh, oh jeez. And, uh, murderous bugs on the inside, apparently. Okay, let's finish this off. Ah, oh, damn it, he caught me again. Little noobit. I've had enough plague for one day. You get him, Wolfie. Defend me, or just stand there. As long as I don't get attacked again. Leave me to my building, damn it. Alrighty, let's drink some of this chewy, protein-rich water. Delicious. Put a couple of stairs down as a bit of added spice. Ooh, nice. 
I also decided to add this little jigsaw pattern in here while my nipples are freezing off. And I also decided to cover up the wood here so we could have a little uh, thematic consistency. Ooh, those were a couple of long words for me. I'm gonna have to go lay down. Due to it being so cold, I've decided to just stare at this fire for a while and reflect on what I'm doing with my life. Ooh, hello. I spent a couple of days like that because it was too cold to go outside. And I was trying to finish off the pyramid, but I just... I was constantly dying of hypothermia. Those are not ideal building conditions. Uh oh, it would appear that Grimace is back. Would you? Jesus. He has the power of giving others seizures. Ooh, a yeet fruit. That is a fiery boy. Get him, Wolfie. Get him. I'll help. Get him. I'll let you in. <laughs> Poor Wolfie. <laughs> This is fine. I did look into what I could make to uh, alleviate my coldness problem, but I have none of these things. <laughs> I am very glad that we vaxxed up at the start of this video, or I would not have had enough hearts to survive right now. Let's place these torches down. Yes, this door sucks, but I can't use pressure plates on the door because then Melinda would be able to escape. There ain't no way in hell I'm letting Melinda escape. Speaking of little orphan Annie, we need to make some dragon meal to help her grow. Oh man, that requires a lot of bones. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go out and get some more. We'll make one meal for now, and then see how much that helps. Hopefully she only needs a few. I also made the most terrible and garbage redstone machine I've ever seen. And that is an achievement. Alrighty, it's time to let this little burden out of her bottle. There we go. We're gonna use this dragon meal. Here you go, girl. Okay. Well, appears like we're gonna need a lot more. I do have enough diamonds to make her a tiny bit of armor. Blimey, this stuff is expensive. Seymour might have to start selling feet pics again. Here you go, you adorable little menace. You better enjoy that. And that is a loan, by the way. You have to work to pay that off. I'm expecting it'll take around 600 years. Oh boy, so thanks to the Sharknado mob event, I managed to lose almost all of my stuff again. And one of the things I lost was my special pickaxe. It really sucks, and the, the footage I got of the death actually got corrupted as well. But don't worry, I've created a reconstruction of what happened. So, here's Seymour minding his own business, and then, oh no, it's a Sharknado! And then Seymour falls down, and he dies. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's like reliving it all over again. It's so bad. <laughs> but yeah, now we have this new tool. Look at her over there, channeling her orphan powers. On day 148, I decided to check all the previously conquered battle towers to see if there are any bones or glowstone left over. Aha! Yes. Good. Oh, and hell yeah, you guys were so right about the glowstone. You absolute legends. Eat up, woman, we need you big and strong so you can head to the coal mines. Progress is very slow. Yeah. Eat, woman! Get bigger! Alright, today we are going to go and find ourselves a battle tower and try out that fishing strat. Summon Clarence. Here we go, let's go. Let's go this way. Onwards! Onwards, my boy! Do -do -do. I also managed to make myself some diamond bolts here. Oh yeah, and I bring a splash potion. So if we do come across another dragon, hopefully Clarence won't uh, do the old sideways dab. I expect I will be very bad at this. He's sleeping. Would you? It's not working. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can pull him off anymore. This has gone very, well, expectedly badly. Yeah, I don't think I can get him through, <laughs> through the thing. Oh, that, that could be useful. Brrr, to you too, buddy. Okay, well, I mean, he's down there. Winter's Grace, don't know what that is. Diamandes, take them. Ooh, block of diamonds, very nice. Where's he gone now? Brrr. Yeah, this is easy as hell. This didn't go to plan, but it worked out fine. We're all living in a yellow submarine. Except that spider, he's not living at all. So what ended up happening is uh, the tower exploded. Um, basically the golem died and then uh, the rest of the things just fell down. We got a couple of things here and there. The main thing we got was a bunch of bones. So we can go and get Melinda another couple of Big Macs. Woman, it is time for your chicken nuggies. Flip, flip, flip. There we go. Yeah, she's a little bigger. She's a little bigger than before. Can you tell? Oh, she's a heavy girl. Get off. Stupid little orphan. She is chunky yet funky. Hmm, bonjour. Turns out, I have been doing literally everything wrong. Huge shout out to this handsome man in the comments who told me to find out what baubles are. Thank you. So, for my fellow brainlets out there, baubles are jewelry you can make, and this ring here decreases your damage taken by 20% each. Each, I say. This is a game changer. These baubles can vary quite a lot in both uh, complexity and uh, OPness if uh, opinus is a word. Yeah, so most of this stuff is not accessible to us, but I've seen a lot of potion rings in battle towers. 
Oh, and by the way, Sneeve Industries has developed a brand new, brave, and intelligent way of dealing with battle towers. Behold! Here we go! We have succeeded! Look at him down there. Have you tried not being bad at the game, bro? The hell is this? XP term. Okay. Yes. I'll allow that. Okay. You're right there, buddy. Bit of a manic Monday over there. In my vast research that I've been doing in the background, there are two ways to become a, uh, a literal god in RL craft. The first way is in the way that we're all familiar with, the use of enchantments. And the second way is the use of uh, the fresh cut rocks, my bro. So we're basically just going to be flying around on Clarence and hoping to find some really powerful enchantment books and bling. Y you see, children, this is what I'm saying. Imagine a world where Isaac Newton hadn't invented gravity. It'd be so cool. Need some more torches. Let's get these golden nugs aboard the Clarence Mobile. Here we go. And then torch. Right, let's have a look, see what wondrous treasures reside within this lighthouse of value. Hmm. This place is, is horribly misnamed. On to the next place. Now this looks promising. Oh, jeez. This guy don't look so good. His skin's all grey. Oh, he's got an axe. Beep, beep. Take a multivitamin, for God's sake. Let's just get rid of this. Let's check the chest. N nope. Uh, nope. Wow. Emerald. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> Upstairs. Mind the thing. Oh, there. Ooh, there's an ender chest. Hello, boys. Okay, let's get rid of this one. There's the last one, I think. Aha, chest. Uh, man, I swear I'm cursed. I am cursed. With good breath. Ooh. <laughs> well, I guess I'll at least take the ender chest. Come on. Oh, maybe not. I wish I was good at this game. Okay, why not? Cocoa beans? Hmm. Ah, here's the treasure room. Okay, never mind. I lied. <laughs> oh man, I swear. Cursed, I tells you. Well, I'll stay the night here and then tomorrow I'll go see if we can find a battle tower or something. Well, I found a battle tower and we managed to get some XP and some stuff. Glowstone, yes. A glorious day. I've also been using this very sneaky method of getting in these chests without actually going through the tower. It's very good and works nice. Yeah. <laughs> what a review. <laughs> Honestly, I've found that due to the amount of XP you can actually find at the top of those battle towers, the most efficient way of leveling up is actually not to kill anything and it's just to search for battle towers. And then you can find those XP homes and the bottles. Let's use some of these bottles. Blip, 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 blip. So the reason I came home early, instead of just continuously finding XP things, is I ran out of bolts. And I'm also really hurting for feathers, despite the fact that I've been trying to gather as many as I can from outside sources. So we needed to farm more of the feathery rats. And while we're here, we're also going to feed these big milky boys, because we need those uh, sweet meats for uh, young Melinda, who's still very, very small. <laughs> Look how ridiculous this jump enhancement is. I'm a rabbit! Okay, so we've made ourselves two rings. One ring of strength, which increases our damage, and two rings of resistance, which increases our damage resistance, funnily enough. We were co-wielding the strength and resistance ring, but I'm going to switch those over to instead just two rings of resistance. Because in my experience, you can't do more damage if you're already dead. I am also really struggling to find something that this ancient sword mastery book will go on. Uh, it doesn't work with the rapier. I don't... No. Anyway, day 156, we are still looking for a desert, and uh, we'll go in as many battle towers as we can. And fly into this tree, apparently. <laughs> that was a real nice flying shot for a second there. So apparently these uh, Him Himalayan dudes can uh, drop ice cubes, and I uh, can use ice cubes for cold resist potions in case it gets wintry again. Urgh. <laughs> Damn it, I have murdered all of these guys to death and none of them dropped ice cubes. Maybe I'll ask this guy if he knows where to find ice cubes. Hey sir, um, do you have any- oh. Oh yeah, that wasn't the ask for ice cubes button. Diamonds, bottles, and glowstone. Yes. Oh, I'm dying of hypothermia again. Hooray! At least I've found a little shack to stay the night in. Come on. Bedtime! Bedtime! Oh, there we go. <laughs> I am awake! Okay, let's go try and uh, find as many battle towers as we can.
Well, that was trippy as hell. We got all the way to level 31, which is awesome. But on top of that, we also ended with four additional XP tomes and over a stack of bottles. Oh, and with that nether star we found, we can make a ring of withering that makes us immune to withering. Ooh. And uh, side note, we also happen to be a billionaire now. Look at the diamonds, Jenkins. All right, well, the reason you make money is to spend it. Let's use this XP. Hmm. You know, we could make a bow from the bones of Melinda's parents. I've had the diamond crossbow for a while now. Maybe it's time for an upgrade. Oh yeah, we need the wither bone. That's right. Easiest way for us to get a wither bone is to find and kill a cockatrice. We should be able to find one in this biome. This lukewarm, dry, tasteless biome. Hmm. This biome is made from my humor. Stupid dragon! So we have to wait until night in the hopes that a cockatrice will spawn. I don't know how rare they are. I'm hoping not very. Well, we didn't find one in the night. Ooh, Merry Easter, what do we have here? I've sometimes seen great things in these... Uh, yes, that is good. I actually got some, some good healing items for once. I also decided to use my synapse and actually look at how you build these. You can do it. You just need a few items. That night, I managed to find one of these cursed peacocks. Sadly, no cock or trees. I still murdered this guy though. You only lose because you're bad. I did eventually that evening manage to find a cockatrice and found out that they are extremely annoying because they attack by giving you the Ebola virus. This is just, just terrible. Following my conflict with the cursed poultry, I did manage to find one with a bone. So we can make ourselves that bow. And then we got Dragon's Roar. I'm sure this will be fun. This is not very fun! <laughs> so, so among the mobs that have spawned, there's like loads of dragon-like creatures and stuff. And then there's this guy. He's literally just a rooster. <laughs> just a big rooster. <laughs> Alright, well, let's make ourselves this bow. String on the side. Doink. Oh, we also need to level this a couple of times. There we go. Righty, let's see what kind of enchants we can get. Please be good. Multi-shot, yeah, that's good. Uh, two enchants, that's fine. Better than I usually do. Diamond arrows. This bow will be OP. We just need a few more enchantments. And to get those, we need to explore. Back to the savannah. Hmm. I immediately was lit on fire. This is fun. <laughs> I've bought some dragon treats with me, so I'm going to try tame one of these dragon guys. Oh, there's one over there. All right, what you got to do is you got to you got to sneak up to him, crawl through the long grass here. We're going to crawl up. Here he is. You can see he likes me. Oh, you can see he likes me by the uh, the chunk he just bit out of my arm. All right, we got ourselves another dragon pet. Cool. What should we call him? I think we'll call him Mr. Biscuit. <laughs> Sure, <laughs> why not? All my other names are just as great, so why not? Unfortunately for me, the next day, Mr. Biscuit and I got stuck in a hole that was being bombarded with dragon fire. He did actually manage to live somehow. Good for you, Mr. Biscuit. But uh, now he's stuck in this tiny little hole with 2% health. I decided to use a recall potion to get to the nearest waystone. I thought Mr. Biscuit would follow me, but apparently not. So I guess he's still stuck in that hole somewhere. And I can't remember where it was, so... You had a good run on the cinematic universe, Mr. Biscuit, and you will be missed. So you know how we all go through phases in our life? Like you might have a emo phase, or an anime phase, or a phase where like, you know, you really like that boy from... What are the kids into these days? Macklemore? <laughs> I'm so out of touch. Anyway, you know how you go through those phases? Clarence is currently in a, uh, I'm on purple fire phase. <laughs> uh... Yeah, uh, alright Clarence, uh, that's what you're into, that's what you're into man, I'm not here to judge you, but uh... <laughs> could have chosen a, maybe a less personally damaging phase. You'll also notice that Clarence is considerably stronger right now. He's a lot more health. Alright, whatever you're into boy, I'll support you. I don't necessarily trust it or uh, understand, but... Uh, okay. So I decided to give Melinda another piece of armor, because bugs keep sneaking in here and I don't want her to get stinged. Now, you might think that the way that you pronounce that word is stung, but... <laughs> I, listen, I don't, I don't usually get political on this channel, but uh, stinged is the way that it's pronounced. Melinda's looking good in her fresh threads, though. She looks like she could destroy a town or two. It's the cycle of life. 
My Geo Natch Spear is now level 3. Yes, let's make a death hole. Downwards. Yeah, that'd do it. Well, so I've been studying my recipes to make healing items. We need a couple of these, and then three terracottas, iron, some heart dust, and a melon. Yes. No. Wait. Oh. Oh, I need white terracotta. God, God damn. The reason why we're trying to figure out all of these strong items and enchants and stuff is I really want to do something big on 200 days. You know, fight a uh, boss or something. Probably, uh, the brain guy. Ah, oh, damn it. It seems Clarence's purple fire phase is over. I decided to go and feed the cows because I really need that farm to grow. We've got loads of bones from all those battle towers, but now we're lacking in, uh, meat. I was also running out of coal, so I went out and got some more. I brought you some nuggies, Melinda. Get down off the... Scaffold. Get on the ground. There you go. Eat your nuggies. Eat. Get stronger. Turns out frosty dragons are much easier to kill, because you can just roast them. I spent another couple of days dealing with battle towers and gaining more experience orbs. It was also a good idea because it allowed my uh, cows to grow a bit more. And now I can go and give her some more nuggies. Oh, there's a skinny boy. Get him. Get him, Melinda. Get him. Get him. Yeah, you got it. Eat the nuggies. Man, she is getting huge. Don't you slide away from me. Yeah. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. She's trying to escape. Get up. <laughs> Honestly, she probably could fly out of here now. I've, I've, I've got to go deal with this. Okay. Clarence, please. Thank you. Get. There we go. Really need to sort out that exit system. So to tell Melinda not to escape, we need to make a uh, dragon control rod. And it seems the crafting thing is a little bugged out. It only works in this configuration. Odd. Now, how the hell do I get to get down here? Woman. Please! I don't know how this works. My dragon is broken. I really don't know how to use this dragon remote control. Oh wait, that was it. Ah, okay. You gotta like click her on the neck and shift click with the dragon wand. But she's still flying. Staying, wandering, staying, wandering. <laughs> it's like my mental state. Nope, there we go. She went down. She went to sleep. And now we can just lock her here. So it's currently day 173. Melinda's spontaneous decision to fly and try and escape has made me think it would be cool as heck to have a fully grown dragon be locked in this tower. You know, Daenerys Targaryen kind of style. We don't talk about what happened to that show. So I'm making myself some travel supplies here and then we are gonna go on a long run to find bones, collect meat, and turn baby Melinda into a fully grown orphan creator. Let's go. Holy balls, she's big enough to ride. Oh, it's so cool. Can I fly? Up, 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 go. Whoa, this is... Oh. <laughs> okay, the, the, the controls need a bit of rebinding. It appears that shift is not go downwards and is instead suicidally leap from your dragon <laughs> at the cost of your knees. Okay, I've rebound the controls and we are going for a test flight. Let's go. I kind of want to go burn some villages. Get there. Get in there. Get in there. There, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I think I might need to uh, plan a alternate way of leaving this temple, especially if she gets any bigger. Well, and she's only stage three. <laughs> These things can go up to at least stage five. I don't know if they can get any bigger than that, but if they get any bigger than that, I feel like she's just gonna crash the game. <laughs> You know what? Screw it. Let's 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 try crash the game. I'm gonna make her as big as I can. Oh, and we also have a new little friend. He's a he's a baby cockatrice. I don't know how rare it is, but sometimes when you throw rotten eggs, there's a chance of a cockatrice to spawn. So yeah, everybody meet barbecue sauce. He's currently using his Ebola ray on uh, that man over there. But why? Anyway, back to the dragon montage.
So for the eagle-eyed ones out there, you may have noticed that I've uh, started moving in to Melinda's house. Basically what happened is the bird things keep dropping stuff on me. Yes, you can tell Melinda's very upset about it. Turns out, living in a highly flammable house above a dragon is not a good idea. Who could have thought it? But regardless, we're now moved in here for the foreseeable. I'll be honest, sleeping next to her is awful. Next, we just have to finish off our enchantments and then it's boss time. We will also have to address the problem of actually getting her out of here. She is far too chonk right now. But regardless, um, how? My ankles? Uh, regardless, I, uh, Hmm, hello. Behold, my intellectually superior big brain, no, no, galaxy brain transport system within my temple. <laughs> I'm a genius. I call it the gravity elevator. Sadly, it, uh, it only works one way. Now we have potions brewing here because today we are going to be fighting bosses. First, we're going to have Big Orphan Annie fight the Wither. And then we're going to go down to hell and fight the source of all evil and cruelty in this world. And that's right. We're going to be fighting the producers of Jersey Shore. As you can see here, I've been stacking up on my healing items as being unalived is not my goal. So after a quick drink from Melinda's bath water, we spent a little bit of time preparing some potions and then I proved once again when it comes to making automated machines I am as useful as pedals on a wheelchair. But regardless the two main potions we're trying to make are fire resist and cold resist. Our best bet of getting the end game enchants for our armor is to find some dungeons and libraries. The potions will help us manage our temperature while we're out in the wild. It's also not a terrible idea to have spare fire resist potions on you just in case you come across another one of these big lizard guys. My experience in my burning hole from last episode has taught me this much. Uh, you okay there buddy? We're running a little low on our dragon scales for our new armor. Don't be scared my guy. I just need your skin. Hey, we found a library. Hooray. Wait, what is it the, the Twitch streamers say? Let us go. Yes, I believe that's it. Like if Starfire was a streamer. Let us go. Pog champ! Anyway, we got our first high tier enchant book, which is very nice. The rest of those books are hot garbage, but I'm sure we'll find another library before long. Let's see if this librarian sells any books. Hmm. You disappoint me, Charles. I will burn your village to the ground. Good day, sir! I said good day, sir. So hopefully we should be able to find another book in this little castle thing we're in. Be gone, child! Oh, sweet lord, I'm getting way too many group hugs here. Oh, they stole my sword. Give it, give it! Oh, rats. Give it! Oh, they keep yanking my sword from me. It's not, it's not fair. Didn't they teach you not to steal? You foul creatures. You'll never take me alive. Hmm. Well, I guess my previous statement is still valid, I think. Well, we shan't be going back in there. Far too much death. I shall be leaving a very bad Yelp review for this place. Three out of five. Not enough croutons. There we go. Be gone, Lizalfos. <coughs> so I found another haunted tower. So we shall enter and hopefully find another good enchanting book. Pretty sure this is the way you're supposed to get in. Doors are for nerds. When you've got a clearance, you may as well use them. Let's have a look here. Well, that's unfortunate. It's coming up to the end of the day here. The sun's setting over there in the distance. I'm fairly sure that the uh, the actual good books will be in this little section of the tower, but it's a little difficult to get into. Be gone, small man. Small, fairy-like man. It's way easier to pick on people who are smaller than you. Yeah, you see, they, they keep spawning because the last spawn is, um... Give me that. The last spawn is on the roof. Can't quite get to it. And I'm, uh, I'm running out of health here, so I'm gonna yeet potion away. Here we go. We will go back there soon, but first I have to show you this bow we're working on. So it currently has multi-shot 3, power 4, and infinity. I just smacked my microphone. It's getting there, but uh, we need a couple more enchantments before we're ready to take on a boss. But this will be our primary weapon for doing so. What? Are you okay, Melinda? Oh, what? Get out of here! <laughs> what? No celery monsters allowed in my base. Yeah, here we go. You okay, barbecue sauce? I would. I would physically die if anything happened to you. Our sword here is getting pretty strong. We're gonna add this fling enchantment and then we're gonna get back out there because we're running out of time. It's currently day 189 and we have exactly 11 days to get our protection enchantments before we're gonna be fighting 
the big bingy. Now I'm hoping one of these guys is, uh, yes, yes, another Liberian. Excellent. Ooh, and he sells Subject PE3, which is an enchantment that makes you sweaty, moist, and get shouted at by overweight middle-aged men. So we managed to find a bow with the Strafe enchantment, which massively decreases our bow draw speed. So essentially it turns us into Legolas. Found another library. I just wish I could read. So I've managed to find the best Liberian I could have possibly found. He sells Advanced Mending 5. Advanced Mending is like regular mending, but advanced. Basically it can be combined with infinity. I'm still feeding Melinda in the background, by the way. We are gonna have her fight the wither and we need her to be strong for it. Honestly, she's getting so big she might break the game, but <laughs> if she does, it'll be funny, so whatever. <laughs> I put that lifesteal enchantment on my sword and it is fantastic. Makes me feel kind of like I'm actually good at this game. Exposition time. The enchantments we need are advanced protection, mending, for which we found Dr. Mimbles here, advanced thorns, and also if we can, um, I'm not counting on this, but uh, strengthened vitality because that gives us extra health. Me thinks the bow is ready to fight the bosses, but I'm not certain. Let's take it for a test ride. Yes, very good. I am Robin Hood. I actually found a enchantment for this bow that is better than infinity because it always saves your arrows, which is better than infinity because infinity just gives you some smelly arrows. Whereas this can use whatever arrows you have in your inventory. This bow is big good. <laughs> Inside this gross little hole, I managed to find a jungle Mimex egg. I don't know what this is. We'll see if it makes a good omelet later. Ooh, I've heard that these uh, underwater moisture temples can also have enchantments in them. Yep, here we go, and never mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this bow is kind of cracked. Die, skinny boy. Empty dum destroy the... Oh, well that's horrifying. I definitely didn't need to see that. Hang on, this creeper's looking at me funny. Oh, Jesus. So this is the pointy stick we're working with right now. It's uh, pretty good, but I've heard most bosses are immune to melee, so it is what it is. Those who pay attention in class, you may also notice that this is not quite the sword that I had before, because I lost the other one. My bad. So today, at the start of day 192, we are going to be using our brain. Basically, the problem we have to solve is dragon big, exit hole small. So I think the best way to do this is we're just going to make a huge exit place. Yes. I don't think we'll be able to get very far without destroying a good portion of this wall, so may as well just get started. Oh, I should mention, by the way, I read the comments, and they said use the little dragon orphan bottles. But unfortunately, if I use them, I would have to do it every single time I wanted to get Melinda back in here. I'm not a brainlet, but I am extremely lazy. Hello, Dr. Mimbles, how are we? You can see I've put Dr. Mimbles in a little dirt prison there for his own good. Maybe we should put a little bit more effort into this prison. I mean, he didn't go to uh, villager medical school to sit in a dirt prison. What is going on? Holy balls! That is a spicy meatball! I've heard these guys actually make quite good soulbound- Oh, excuse me. Wow. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> anyway, I've heard these giant meatballs are great pets, so I'm gonna go try and make some treats, see if we can soulbind them. So, slight problem, uh, I don't know what kind of treats he needs. Unfortunately, to unlock his encyclopedia information, we have to kill him. I'm sorry, Mr. Meatball, but this is in the name of science. There we go, rank one of the beholder. Okay. What kind of treats does he want? I'm guessing... Charleston Chews. Now we just have to hope we run into another one. It's 194 days and we've only seen two of those, but maybe we'll get lucky. Regardless, if we do find another one, we'll have some Charleston Chews for him. But for now, let's go take Melinda for another ride. The adorable little orphan we once knew is gone at this point. And instead, now we have a large orphan generator. Let's go! Oh no, I pressed shift again. Oh no, I've fallen off. <laughs> oh, thank God. RL Craft developers, please never change this falling animation. It is perfect and it does not need changed. Alrighty, as you can tell, I brought three Wither Skulls with me. So we're gonna make this big girl fight the Skelly Boy. Ow. 
There she comes. Nee, nee, nee. Alrighty, let's go. Three, four, and then hip, hip, come on. What? Oh, damn it. Come on. There we go. Alright, on the dragon, on the dragon. He is thinking about it. What? He's just standing there. I'm trying to shoot it with the fire, but I don't know what's happening. It is incredibly difficult to tell exactly what's happening here. Okay, so slight development. The wither is now on my head. <laughs> Look, there he is. Freaking out over there, just having an absolute seizure. I, I, I don't know how this happened. But, okay, let's see if I can... Okay, bite. Bite, Melinda, bite. Melinda is biting him to death. Look at that. That is, that is incredible. Yes, down he goes. That fight was uh, very odd. I think we're going to have to do that again. So unfortunately, turns out there is a size limit for your dragons. Melinda the dragon has almost reached it. At the very least, making these seems to have very minimal difference on her size anymore. Which is a shame, but you know, it is what it is. So it turns out taking Melinda for a walk is extremely destructive. Behold, she spies a squirrel and then next thing you know, Genocide. Absolutely great if you love the smell of barbecue. There also seem to be a few kinks with flying, but uh... Oh sweet lord, please. I have no idea what is killing me right now. Uh... What's a bam storm? Is that Darude Sandstorm in the back? <laughs> oh sweet lord, this is always fun. I love these events. I absolutely love them. Thank you RL Craft, these are just the best. And I will admit, uh, having a dragon around makes these events all the more fun. <laughs> and toasty. I love role playing as an overcooked crumpet. Well, I'm very glad that that's over. Oh, oh, sweet lord. That was rude. What the? Oh, okay. <laughs> Meatball Boy is back. Run, run, run. I believe I bought- yes, I bought the Charleston shoes. Let's go. Look at him over there. Just floating there. Menacingly. Charleston Chews inbound, Meatball Boy. Please don't kill me. Oh wait, really? It only took one? Oh wow, he, he really does love those chews. Alrighty, soulbind this boy. There we go, he's vanished, excellent. There he is. Let's name him. Now I know a while ago I was saying he should be called Ugly Bob, but since then he's completed his optometry exams, so now he is Dr. Bob. Name tag attack, woohoo! Congratulations on your degree. Pip, Pip, and Tally Ho, Dr. Bob. Well, with Professor Eyeball in tow, let's try summon the Wither again. Here we go. Oh. What? Why you no work? Well, this is odd. I don't know why this isn't working. We'll, I, we'll try again in a bit, I guess. I really thought that would work. Sorry, this is breaking the fourth wall a little here, but something hilarious just happened. Melinda just destroyed a good portion of my base. Let me explain. So just as I was cradling my fresh cup of tea made this morning, turns out Melinda decided she would commit genocide on my cows. So she destroyed part of the base, and then also decided to use her orphan powers to turn them into Rice Krispies. The cows were having a wonderful time, I'm sure, but I personally wasn't. Well, you see, when dragons use their fiery breath, it causes things called cinders to spawn, also known as red mega men. And these guys are aggressive towards me, and Melinda is aggressive towards them. So behold what happens when one of them attacks me. May I draw your attention to Exhibit A over here, as Melinda tries to save, in air quotes, save me, she has entirely incinerated my temple and my house. But why? Why, Melinda? Why? Why'd you do this? <laughs> you damn teenagers! I then made a fence for these cabbage dinosaurs because we're going to need them to cook some battle burritos. We need to find some aspids. I wonder, if I, wonder if it'll let me name Clarence yet. Basically, I've been trying to name Clarence for a while, but it keeps on spitting out the name tag. You'll notice he kept on being called Salty Sneeves Epion, which is a very official title. Okay, we need to find a jungle because we are looking for one of these things. We need one of these for the battle burrito. I found some aspids and decided to build a fence around them. You can breed them with mushrooms, so I executed this shroom tree. After gaining some aspid meat, the next item on our shopping list is obsidian, because we need it for the boss altars. In my exploratory efforts, I found these. Vampire arrows. Thanks to our bow's multi-shot feature, I have a sneaking suspicion this may be overpowered. Thanks to locating our aspid meats, the only meat we need now is pinky meat. So we're gonna have to go back to the nether briefly. Don't forget the fire potion. And luckily, we can actually summon Dr. Bob down here. Good man. Aha, yes. There's a pinky. Look at him scrabbling over there. Oh, thank you, Dr. Bob. 
How about the bubble gum? Goodbye. All right, we got some meat. We got three. That's good. That's a decent amount. We only need to kill a few more Kirby's and then we can leave California. This is a lot easier having Dr. Bob and not worrying about falling all the time. Though the standard explodey skeleton... How? <laughs> I was gonna say the standard explodey skeleton problems are still relevant. And indeed, they are. At least we're finding plenty of pinkies. Give me a de bacon. You know, we should really give Dr. Bob some armor. I think I've got some diamonds lying around here somewhere. Just put that on you. Oh, God. That is awful. <laughs> That is, that is, that is just terrible. I will cleanse my eyes with a delicious burrito. Now we can only make eight, but that should be fine. We only need enough to kill the wither and the main boss that I've got planned. Okay, wither round two, let's go. Boop, boop, God damn it! boop, there we go. Well, using her orphan powers, Melinda absolutely deleted the Wither. As you can tell by the immolated countryside, she also deleted every squirrel in a 15 mile radius. Good job, Melinda. Good job. And now that we have two Wither Stars, we can make ourselves one Soul Key and one Wither Ring. Now we just have to summon a Raspberry Jawbreaker. Couple more blocks on the side. Yeah, let's use a Battle Burrito, why not? And then we just use a Soul Key. Boop. And there he is. Whack! Whack! Have at thee! You delicious monster. I have no idea what is happening right now. <laughs> this is just, just madness. He seems to be losing health, so it's fine. I'll just continue sitting in this hole, I guess. Oh, he stopped. Oh, thank God. Just summon Clarence. Aerial warfare, let's go! Oh, yeah, this is far more effective. I like this. Finish him off with a couple of these. Here he goes. <laughs> now, the reason we were going after that raspberry elemental is we need this demon soul stone. We need said soul stone to summon the next boss. Speaking of which, we need to summon that guy in the nether, and we're not going to do that in the old nether portal, so we'll build a new one. You'll see why in just a moment. Hmm, yes, this spot looks tasty. This'll do nicely. Now we must build an altar to summon Rizzy McNizzle. We go. Potion goes splash. Summon Dr. Bob, of course. Boop. Now we take our last soul key. Here we go. Oh god, this is going to be fun. Why do I get the feeling like I'm gonna die straight away? Okay, that pillar of flame is scary, but let's summon Melinda. Come on, girl, help me out, please. I'll use my magic dragon wand to tell her to help. Oh, jeez, he has really been hitting the gym. He is huge. Melinda, are you serious? Come on, wake up! Oh, there she goes. Now is not the time for a power nap. Come on. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take care of these minions. If I don't kill the minions, he'll shoot fire at me. Like, yeah, just like that. Okay, <laughs> come here, Doctor Bob. I need you. Okay, aerial supremacy will win the day. I feel like these vampire arrows are doing some serious heavy lifting right now. Oh no, the wall of flame. My one weakness, fire. <laughs> I am so gonna die. No, no, no. Not explodey skeletons, I hate these guys. I'm gonna try not hit them so they don't explode. Ye shall not sample Seymour's tasty brisket. Uh, oh no, Dr. Bob is down. I repeat, Dr. Bob is down. We also appear to be in phase three. We're, we're near the finish line. Come on. He summons a wall of fire on me. Run, 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 run. And of course, at the same time, some exploding skeletons spawned. No, no. Yeah, I'm still alive. Come on, vampire arrows. Let's keep it going. We're going strong. He's nearly dead. Come on. A few more shots. There's so many mobs now. Come on. Yes. 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 Oh my god, I did it! I did not think this would go well. I did not think this was possible. 
That was so much fun. I, I'm so happy that that went the way that it did. Let's go see what uh, what he dropped. Aha, here it is over here. By these cobwebs. Level 83? That's insane! Ah! Oh, Jesus, Dr. Bob. Goddamn. So we got a bunch of demon blast charges, three wither stars, a load of diamonds. Oh, he also got this wraith thingy. Oh, and he dropped a bunch of demon soul stones as well. Cool. We actually get a refund in that department. So you're probably wondering, what the hell happened to Melinda? Because I wanted exactly the same thing. I had to go into the replay files to be able to see exactly what happened. Basically, she just left. <laughs> Maybe she just felt like taking a vacation to Guam or something, but she just took one look at Ravaheart and just went, oh, hell no, I'm out of here. <laughs> then just left. I mean, I respect the hustle, but goddamn, after all I did for her. Well, I guess I did kind of unalive her parents and then hold her captive for many months, but you know, it's the principle of the thing. It's the, it's the principle. And that's it. 200 days, RL Craft. I want to extend a huge thank you to the patrons. You're all truly beautiful. Goodbye.